people welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new thank you so so much for being here i have officially sent all of the kickstarter parcels if you don't know i ran a kickstarter a few months ago and all of the rewards are out the door i sent the european parcels the tracked parcels and the usa parcels first on like the rest of the world so they got a little bit of a head start and then i sent all of the uk ones yesterday so they should start arriving soon i'm super excited super nervous um i'm hoping that i've got in before too many kind of strike issues happen uh, i've got another week or so until the next strike but that's only a day and then there's another gap so hopefully we're fine in things arriving but please please be patient there's a lot of things that are out of my hands at the moment but yeah i'm super excited to have them out and to just let you guys have your goodies that you so so kindly pledged for I made myself a cup of tea this is a very deli mug um it is winnie the pooh now if you know me i love winnie the pooh like winnie the pooh is my favorite disney character um <laughs> and then inside i don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this from this is from tesco by the way um it says see the good in like all see the good in all things i think it says in here which is very deli as well which is very kind of deli's designs a lot of the reason i create things um like inspiration behind previous collections and things so when i saw this it just had to be mine and it's so so cute so i've made myself a cup of tea which is so needed this morning and the postie delivered an exciting parcel this morning so i'm going to turn you around and we're going to open this up because I think this is my postcard and um, postcards i'm pretty sure it is so let's turn you around and get them open so i have the postcards um the colors are slightly different than i expected i also have you in a completely different place than i'd normally chat to you because i just thought i'd turn the tripod around exactly where i was i've got five different postcard designs the colors are slightly different than i expected on a couple of them like it's it's expected with print companies you know how i print things at home is always going to be different to how mm. i get them manufactured um the dog's trying to talk to me but firstly <laughs> They always send you, so these are from, I think it's moo.com or moo print. They always send you some postcards with like little quotes on. So this one says, you make me as happy as when a swift kick fixes the washing machine. I've never done that personally. <laughs> I'm sure some of you might understand that though. Um, and you're cuter than an animal dressed as a celebrity. So these are so random, but they're quite funny when you open your order and like read them. So we've got there is no better time than now this has come out slightly more all pinky than i kind of initially wanted um but i think it's still really really cute and it does complement the design pretty well then we've got the go for it light bulb the light bulb has come out slightly slightly darker than i would have like envisioned it fully but it does look really really good we've then got don't just sit there chair and it's on like a slightly kind of beigey background um i kind of chose it from the brown and like obviously went a lot lot lighter um so that's this one we've also got the world is your oyster which i think is one of my favorites um so this is a very it's not white but it's kind of on the edge of oh dear, what are you doing I've got a box of rubbish over there and he's like sniffing through it. Can you see him? <laughs> um, so yeah, the world is your oyster. This one's come out really, really nice. Um, and you can see like all the detail that I've put in, which is lovely. And then we've got the reminder postcard, which is the, you know, but what if it goes right? And then this is on like a 
light like really really light yellow background um because i didn't want to just go white because i felt like i should choose colors that kind of complement the design um and i think that's that's happened so um i'm really happy with these again like i said the colors are slightly different but it's expected i have to go in with an open mind when you use a print company um all my postcards i tend to get from moo though so i tend to know that well, I know the quality is going to be lovely. These are wonderful quality postcards. They are really, really nice. A little bit more on the pricey side, but they do have like sales and things every now and then. So I have new postcards. I am working towards a shop update this week. Um, well, the shop update isn't going to be this week. I haven't even set the date yet, but mid-October. So probably end of next week, um, early beginning of the week following i'm going to sit down and kind of work it all out work out how long i need to make and photograph and make listings it shouldn't take me too long but i've got lots of counting and things to do as well there's like a lot of like prep before i can even you know start fully making listings and things <laughs> you're so needy but yes i am getting there and yeah it's really nice to be working towards a shop update and to be having some brand new goodies in the shop i'm very excited for that i'm gonna go now before the dog screams all of your earbuds earbuds eardrums i don't want him to break your eardrums because he's very loud i'll chat to you guys in a bit oh, i clicked the wrong button So I just sorted through the postcards and I'm really annoyed at myself because I don't know if you remember but a minute ago I said there was a mark on this postcard. You can see it here. It's like a little dot. It's on all of them which means it's a me issue. I don't know if it's a, it was on Procreate or if it was a kind of Photoshop issue um, but it's very much a me issue so I'm very annoyed at that. Remember to quadruple check your files before sending them off um it's very rare things like this happen for me but yeah these ones are going to be on sale um they'll be slightly discounted in comparison to the rest of them obviously not ideal but um if you had your eye on this one then you'll be getting it at discount and to be honest it's not it's not a huge issue issue and when it's up on the wall you probably won't notice it but it's just not perfect so yeah um a little bit annoying but i'm gonna count all these up now make sure i've got the right quantities and then i'm going to get my label maker out and make some labels so i'm very excited about that The lighting in here is very strange. I have just sat and printed stickers ready for cricketing. I'm sorry about the reflection of the um, computer in my glasses. It's quite dark in here, but it's like a weird light. If I turn lights on, it's, it, I feel like it's gonna be even weirder. Um, but yes, we've got a reprint on, I'm kind of transitioning onto a new paper. It's like a vinyl paper. It's not really, really long wearing vinyl, but it's much more long wearing than the paper I was using previously. So you've got the chair, 
we've got the working on my dreams which is the key ring design but in sticker form we've got the reminder sticker uh what's this one oyster light bulb and clock so all of the designs that are pins and key rings are coming to the shop in sticker form tomorrow i'm gonna sit and cricket these because i just I don't want to do it today. I'm gonna to have to clear in front of the cricket. I just, I'm a bit of a messy worker and I always make mess. So I'm gonna to have to clear that before I do that tomorrow. But it's good to have it done. And this paper feels so, so lovely. Um, it's like a matte vinyl from Photo Paper Direct. Um, yeah, I'm just making like the transition from evergreen goods. I'll probably still use evergreen for like my logo stickers and things because it's a bit cheaper. Um, but it just means that these are a little bit more long wearing. Um, they are water resistant, not waterproof, but um, much better than the previous paper. I'm gonna pack up some orders now because they need to go. I've got a few from America, all the same thing, so it shouldn't take me too long, but I'm gonna pack those up and then call that it for today. So I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Okay, so I was having a little bit of an issue with the sticker paper. Like I said yesterday, I'm making the transition onto really nice. Is my camera falling? I feel like it is. Okay, I'm hoping this will stay <laughs> now. Um, okay, so I've done some cricketing. I was hoping to do the nice peel and I don't know, just make it more enjoyable to witness me doing this, but <laughs> I was having to play around with the settings because this paper's quite a lot thicker than the previous sticker paper I was using. Like when you hold them, they don't feel crazy, crazy different, but like the back piece is quite a lot thicker than the previous paper. So I'll do some little overlays to show you, but they're really, really cute. There is only one design that I might play around with the color a little bit. I'm gonna compare it to the postcard and see if it needs changing i feel like it might but you will see so the first one is the light bulb sticker which i think is my favorite it's come out really really cute and yeah slightly lighter than the postcard which i think is like the perfect color for it we've then got the reminder which is the one that i'm thinking i might adjust a little bit purely because I think it's too bright it's too kind of maybe too saturated so i might have a play around with this one also i apologize if the light keeps changing i'll do my best to edit it but um the sun keeps going in and out behind the clouds then we have the oyster one which has come out so so nice this one is probably one of my favorites as well We've got the working on my dreams kind of office chair. Uh, this is the key ring design, which yeah, this has come out really nice. It's one of those you might have to be a little bit more delicate when you peel it because it's got like a thin piece here, but um, 
I'm really, really happy with that one. What's next? We've got the Don't Just Sit There chair, which is already in the shop, but this is on the new paper, so it's like a nicer quality. The colour has printed slightly like clearer and things, which is nice. And then also the There Is No Better Time Than Now alarm clock, which is also super, super cute. Just a heads up with the stickers. There are going to be some stickers that are like a pound on the shop because they are the old sticker paper. I am slowly going to be trans... Um, like moving over to this new paper but all of these new stickers are on the vinyl paper which means this oh my goodness the lighting which means the price of the stickers is going to be a bit more expensive because the sticker paper is more expensive but you are getting a more luxury like higher quality sticker um so it is justified and yeah it's just something that needs to be done unfortunately i can't keep them that cheap and really i do think they're worth more than what i charge anyway it's just kind of teaching myself that i am worth what i charge it's something that i'm learning over the years and um realizing how much work goes into things and um, how much supplies cost because again that's all going up as well but I've got a nice pile of stickers here that I'm really really happy with I just need to sit down and work out kind of what I need to do now I am waiting for my Christmas decorations I have a feeling they might not be here by the time I do the shop update I might be wrong but I feel like they might not be so I need to work out what I'm going to do, whether I kind of put them up as a pre-order and then as soon as they're here I can ship them out. Like so if people have ordered other things and they've ordered decoration as well then they'll have to wait. But the hope is they'll be here. I do need to do some research into the packaging for them because I'm thinking maybe some like little bags like I did with the key rings. If you saw last week's vlog you would have seen that they were in little like organza bags. So I'm thinking maybe something along those lines for the decorations and I need to make Christmas tags and things as well because that all needs like they've been remade from last year and the year before and the year before that. So um, I need to, you know, take new photos, all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna sit down and kind of work it all out, I think. And if there's anything I need to buy, um, I might sit down and do that now and kind of get those expenses out of the way. I'm on the road to being able to photograph and that's exciting because <laughs> it means we're getting close to launching. Um, but yeah, hopefully by the end of this vlog, I will have a date for you. I'm thinking, I think I already said like mid-October. I'm thinking maybe the 14th, or maybe, so Friday the 14th or Monday the 17th, something like that. Um, it would all just depend on, I don't know, maybe if I think the decorations could be here, then I'll do the Monday. But yeah, that's kind of where I am. I'm feeling very happy with the stickers. But yeah, and I just feel like I'm in a good place with the business and Kickstarter parcels have started arriving and people are tagging me. So that's making me very, very happy. But I'm gonna stop blabbing now and I'll chat to you guys in a bit. I just received some happy mail from Emily Harvey Art, which I'm super excited about. This is a decoration that I pre-ordered maybe a month ago, around a month ago. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm so excited because I have the other two decorations and this is gonna just be, oh, it's gonna be so beautiful. A little thank you note. Oh, these are the new ones as well. How cute is that? I love it. Oh my goodness, I've got one of the, Welcome to Emily's. This is Emily's dream kind of Christmas shop. I know Emily would love to have a Christmas shop and this is how it is envisioned. How stunning is that? Oh, I'm so happy I got this. That makes me so happy. On the back, it has a little story. So it says, it's a cold December evening and you're wrapped up tight in your warmest scarf. After a day of unsuccess unsuccessful gift buying, the shops are now closed. As you turn the corner, a warm glow catches your eye. You move closer and as you do, you hear the muffled sound of smooth jazz coming from behind a lilac door where a beautiful wreath is hung. Smiling shoppers open the door to leave. The wonderful smell of freshly baked cookies follows them. Inside you'll find gifts, decorations, stationery and more. A place full of warmth and heart and hot chocolate for everyone. You just have to go in. Welcome to Emily's. Like, that gives me chills. And then this is the decoration, which I am so, so excited for. Okay, this is stunning. I'm gonna do like an overlay because this is just beautiful. How shiny is that? You can see it quite well here, but oh, it's 
so beautiful and this is a new ribbon as well so it's like a velvety ribbon look at that and there's like glitter in some of the leaves or like the wreath leaves you should be so proud emily i don't know if you're watching this but if you are you should be so proud so that's the decoration i'm gonna pop it back in its bag and save it for the christmas tree it's gonna look so lovely with the other decorations as well so yeah i'm kind of finished for the week i don't have that much to show you i just need to sit down and work out exactly what i need to do next week now my date that you need to keep in mind is the 14th or friday the 14th of october at around 6 or 7 pm i think that's the date i'm setting on if i get any emails about the decoration i might move it back a little bit but the earliest it will be is the 14th of october again if you'd like to keep updated with dates and things please follow me on instagram that's where i keep most of my kind of there and then updates um obviously these come out once a week so if you want to be in the loop more day to day then instagram is the place to be we've got pins key rings we've got stickers postcards i've got a couple of items that are not part of the procrastination station collections so there's a few stickers for that i've also got some magnets that i completely forgot i made because i was saving for them saving them for the next shop update which is going to be this one this is going to be my last shop update of the year so if you're wanting to grab some christmas presents this is the perfect one to do it i think the pins will make such lovely gifts especially going into the new year because it's all about you know motivation 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 encouragement and kind of not doubting your abilities so i think that's perfect kind of mindset to go into the new year i'm moving my hands around a lot sorry so yeah i am really excited to bring this collection um thank you so much again if you've tagged me in your kickstarter parcels it is so amazing to see them arriving and i am just so so grateful i'm gonna call that the end of a studio vlog i can't talk i'm gonna call it the end of a studio vlog thank you so so much for watching i wish you the loveliest day and i will speak to you next week Bye. <laughs>